Hello and welcome to Wahe Life with Nancy Belmont. Today you are tuned into a Kriya for energy. So if you are looking for a little boost, this Kriya should help. It's a long Kriya, so we're gonna jump right in. Let's uh, settle in, tune in. If you aren't familiar with Kundalini Yoga, you might wanna check out our, um, the tune in chants on a different video and Breath of Fire. So we'll be doing both of those today. So just find a comfortable seat. I like to sit up on a cushion or a block. Close the eyes. Just settle into your space. Notice the energy that you have in your body right now. Could feel like a vibration or a color or just a, some sort of sensation. Just notice whatever it is that you sense as energy. And then let's bring the hands together, give them a little rub. Bring the thumbs into the sternum, press on that. We'll do one of each tune in chant. So we'll breathe in, breathe out, and then we'll chant. So deep breath in, let it go. Breathe in to chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Ad Gude Name Jugad Gude Name Sat Gude Name Siddhi Guru Dev Name Inhale, suspend the breath and pull everything up and in, the belly comes toward the spine, you're imagining energy squeezing up like you're a snake and it's coming up through the belly, through the ribs, through the throat, the third eye, all the way to the crown, keep squeezing. And then exhale. All right, let's get started. We'll start our practice today with uh, eight stroke breath in and eight stroke breath out. So it's through the nose. Once you get the hang of it, you can close your eyes and the focus is on the third eye. Your hands can be any way you want. You can just have them down on the knees or you can have them in Gyan Mudra, which is the pointer fingers and the thumbs. So it's inhale, sniff, 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 sniff. Exhale, sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Here we go. So you have to take little sips of air, regulate the sips in, and then regulate the exhales. Five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On your own. Sit up tall. Relax the face, relax the jaw. Inhale, 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 inhale,
Then take a big inhale. Hold it. Squeeze everything up and in. And then exhale. <sighs> Invigorating. Okay, let's get on hands and knees. We're going to move into some cat cow. So it's inhale, the belly drops. Exhale, you run in curve. Inhale and exhale. You can start it nice and slow like this. Make sure that you're articulating all the way through the spine. Work out any kinks you might have in your shoulders, the upper back, the lower back. Once you get the hang of it again, you can close the eyes. Focus on the third eye. If you feel warmed up and you want to go a little faster, you can go inhale, belly drops, exhale, run and curve. Inhale and exhale. Keep the motion and the breath paired. All right, we're gonna move into a variation of this pose. So take one leg and pump it in and out. So the knee comes in toward the chest and then it goes back out. Exhale as the knee comes in, inhale as it goes out. Good, now let's switch sides. So whichever side you're on, just opposite knee in and out. I like to point my toes until I get a little foot cramp. <laughs> and then I have to splay them out a little bit. So if that's happening to you, feel free to flex the toes for a while until that cramp goes away. And then inhale, put the knee down, come back into a seat on your heels, hold the breath. And exhale. All right, so we're coming on the heels again. If that hurts your knees or your ankles, you can put a block underneath, or you can always just transition over to easy pose like this. But if you're able, sit on your heels or sit on a cushion so that helps your knees. Grab opposite elbows above the head and just uh, lean from one side to the other side. So it's exhale as you go to one side, inhale to center, exhale to the other side, inhale to center. Now pretend like you're kind of in a toaster here, so you're not leaning forward like this. You're really stretching the side of the body. You can look up under that elbow as you twist, go to the side. Keep the breath going with the movement. Inhale to center. Exhale to the long side. And then inhale. Ooh, the music wasn't quite right on that one, but we'll get moving so you can bring the arms down. We're still in rock pose which is this pose where we're sitting on our heels. You've got goalpost arms. And then we inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So for this one, I definitely close my eyes because I get really dizzy if I um, try to keep them open. 
So the head follows the chest and you're twisting from the upper body and keep the breath going with the movement again. So if this is too fast for you, do it half time. Just remember to breathe with the movement. And if you're going fast, like I am right now, you almost want to do a breath of fire where you're exhaling more strongly than you're inhaling. Because otherwise you might, uh, oh, what's the word? Hyperventilate, we don't want that, do we? But if you put more focus on that exhale, it's gonna help your breath regulate the right amount of oxygen coming in Make the spine really tall here. Try to keep those arms parallel to the floor. Well, I guess the top of the arms are parallel to the floor. The, this part of the arms, the forearms are perpendicular. And then inhale to the middle. Arms come up, exhale them down, good. All right. Now we're keeping this pose in rock pose if you've got it, if not, um, easy pose is fine. And we're doing kind of a, a seated cat cow here. So it's inhale, the chest comes forward, exhale, you round and curve. Try to keep the hips and the shoulders above one another so we're not leaning forward like this and then leaning back like this. All the movement is in the spine and in the shoulder blades. So you're imagining the shoulders can almost touch behind you, opening the chest. Really get into that full range of motion. And once you get the hang of it, close the eyes. Keep your gaze on the third eye. And breathe along with the movement. So inhale as the chest comes forward and exhale as it goes back. You might be feeling it a little bit in the lower back or the upper back. It's all right, we're strengthening those muscles. Those muscles are the ones that are gonna be good for helping you sit in meditation for longer. So it's okay, exercise the muscles that might be a little sore. Of course, if anything hurts or feels like it's not right, don't do that. Protect your body. Good, let's inhale straight back. And then exhale, remove your cushion or your block if you've got it. And just come into a little easy downward dog. So you can pedal your feet. You're making a triangle with your body. The tailbone's up. The fingertips are pressing into the ground. Just relax the body here. Try to angle the tailbone up toward the ceiling while you pull the heels down toward the ground. You can let out a few big sighs if you need to. And then let's walk the feet toward the hands. You can keep the knees bent grab opposite elbows and just hang. The more the knees are bent, the more it stretches out the back. 
the straighter the knees, the more it stretches out the hamstrings, so you can just play with that. You can sway from side to side. And then very slowly grab the shins and just walk your hands up your legs until you come to a full stand. You can roll the shoulders a couple times. <sighs> All right. This next series is just an inhale all the way up and stretch it back. Exhale, touch the ground if you can. You can bend the knees. Inhale it up and exhale it down. All the way in, get into those lungs as you breathe. Imagine the energy going all the way down into the lower lungs. Stretch back, but you're not wrenching the back into a crease. You're seeing how long you can make the body. And bend the knees as much as you need to. You might find that as we keep doing this movement, you don't have to bend the knees as much. Maybe you can get closer toward the ground. And it's inhale it up and exhale it down. So nice full breaths. If you feel comfortable here, closing your eyes. If you feel like you've got balance and you're feeling good, you can try closing the eyes on this one. I usually do. Otherwise, keep them open. Make sure you don't fall over. Now you can't do a little variation of this if you want. Inhale it up and exhale it really thoroughly. Just kind of like, let it all go at the bottom. <sighs> you can make noise. You can sigh. Whew. I don't know what you had going on this week. At work, at home, family. You might need a big sigh. <laughs> And let's inhale it up, stretch up, and then exhale. All right, Whew, that was invigorating. All right, let's come down to a seat again. We're taking a wide-legged stance, so for you that might look a little less wide, or it could look wider. And our bodies are all different. So here we're doing. Um, a bend over one leg and then inhale and then exhale over the other leg. Now, if you're super flexy and you want to grab your toes and you're able to keep going side to side with your toes in a yogi toe hold, more power to you. I don't really like how that feels, so I tend to go back and forth with my arms. Um, we want to keep the feet flexed backward. So the toes are kind of pulled back toward the face. And this is not about rounding and curling. This is about a flat back. So you're not going to be able to get down as far when you've got a flat back. And that's okay. See how long you can make your body. Imagine the crown of your head can touch your toes. Probably isn't going to happen. But imagine that energetically just stretching into that back of the legs with a long back. This one again, you can close your eyes. You can focus on the third eye as you move from side to side, exhaling over the leg, inhaling into the center. You might notice the body is starting to open up and you're able to go a little bit deeper. All right, let's inhale to the center. Bring the legs together. 
and we'll just do long deep breaths folding over the legs so again here we want a long back my mic is falling off sorry just trying to rehook it but uh, so the pose is just like this your toes are peeled back you've got a long flat back so you might not be able to bend quite as far over the legs and just hold doing long deep breaths while I fix my mic <laughs> There we go. Just breathe. And then inhale, come all the way up. Now bring the feet in toward the bum. And we're just doing a little butterfly little butterfly flying. So the knees come up, then they go down. If you want to do kind of like a, almost like a breath of fire here, you can. So that would sound like exhale, 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 exhale. that isn't feeling good with the breath just do long deep breaths or if you're pregnant menstruating just do long deep breaths instead of any kind of breath of fire once you get the hang of it again close the eyes and kundalini a lot of times we'll just focus here on the third eye this is where your intuition lives so cultivating that intuition as we practice. For me, it also just kind of helps me see my body from outside myself, which is an interesting phenomenon. Keep it going. I know your hip flexors are probably getting a little tired. It's all right. Now, if you've got any, sorry, I should have said this earlier, but if you've got any hip issues or knee issues, you can do this much less vigorously. You can help the knees come in and out. So be gentle with yourself if you need to be. Otherwise, if you're able, let your butterfly wings fly. And then inhale, the knees come up. Exhale. Let's come down to the back. We're going to be doing some bridge poses here. Move your ponytail if you need to. All right, so the feet are flat on the ground. The hands are kind of, the fingers are kind of just brazing the backs of the heels. And we inhale it up and exhale it down. So inhale, the booty comes up, exhale, it goes down. Inhale and exhale. I like to imagine threads coming from my little hip pointers being pulled up toward the ceiling. We're not here for too long, just about a minute. Just a few more and then we get a short little Shavasana before the last several exercises of the class. And the last one, inhale it up. And then exhale it down. Good job. All right. You can let the legs sprawl out. Let them go long. Let the arms go down by the sides. 
Feet flop out to the sides. If that's not comfortable on your lower back, you can bring the feet to the floor and let the knees bend in toward each other. And here, just try to slow the breath. The eyes are closed. You can focus on the third eye. You could also focus on breathing into the chest and the belly. And just notice anywhere your body's holding any tension. See if you can let that go. people, Shavasana is the hardest pose of the practice because it can be hard to just lay still and be present. So if your mind has started to wander off your mat, just gently bring it back. Feel into your body. Let's take some deeper breaths. Exhale through the mouth. And then roll the ankles, roll the wrists. Bring the arms above the head, interlace the fingers and stretch your body as long as you can make it. Bring the one knee into the chest and give it a good squeeze. And cross it across the body. Give yourself a little spinal twist. Look over the right shoulder, whichever, whichever shoulder is the same as the knee is bent. Look over that shoulder. And then back to the center. Let that leg go. Bring the other leg in. Give it a squeeze. Cross it over the body. Look over that shoulder. Then bring both the knees in. Give yourself a little curl. All right, a few more exercises before we're done with cultivating our energy. This is going to work your core part of your body. So we're doing kind of a piston, uh, piston type of a motion. So it looks like this. Your one leg comes up off the ground, the other knee is in, and then you switch. Now, it's not a bicycle, so it's not like this. It's like this. Now, you might find it more comfortable to do with your hands underneath your rump. And then inhale as the left knee comes in and exhale as the right knee goes out. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull the belly down toward the mat. So you don't want the belly to poof out 
toward the ceiling. We're pulling it down to protect the lower back. Here for about a less than another minute. This is getting all those lower chakra energies stirred up. And we're gonna bring those up into the higher chakras or energy centers on the next few movements here. So think about this as like stirring the pot, getting all those bees worked up, and then we're gonna direct them up. All right, now bring both knees in and rock and roll. So back and forth. And back, and forth. Whee! You can go a little faster if you like. And it's inhale as the body goes back. Exhale as you come up. All right, the next time you come forward, take a breath in. And exhale. All right, now we're gonna come onto our tummies. I'm gonna fix my ponytail here. Hold, please. All right, so come onto your tummy. We're coming into what's called the cobra pose. Now, Cobra might be a little too much for some people, so you can do a sphinx instead. So you're up on your elbows if you're in sphinx, or you're up on your hands if you're in cobra. I'm gonna do sphinx, because my lower back gets a little weird. So it's breath of fire here. So it's exhale, 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 exhale. And you can see that my belly is snapping up from the mat. So you're pulling your chest through energetically. Keep it going. All right, now take a deep breath in, hold it, and then look over to one toe. Hold the breath. Exhale to the middle. Good, inhale, deep breath in. Hold it and look over to the other toe. Exhale to the middle. A Couple more times. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, look over the toe. Exhale to the middle. Inhale. Hold, exhale to the other, uh, not hold to the other side, sorry. Hold on the other side, looking up to the other toe. Exhale to the middle. Good. Now just bring the face down. You can windshield wiper, <laughs> windshield wiper, the feet back and forth. You could windshield wiper them if too, if you like. <laughs> All right, good. Then walk your hands back if you're able. Come sitting on your heels. We'll be coming down into child's pose for the next pose, but with the arms interlaced behind the back. So the thumbs are pointed down. If you're able and you're 
arms and hands reach each other like this, press the palms in toward each other, and then come down over the legs and bring the hands up toward the ceiling. Now, if this is too much for you, you can grab opposite elbows and do the same pose. And if that's not, still too much, just be in child's pose and rest yourself. But if you are able to interlace those hands and bring them up, you can do that now. And just deep breaths. You might want to widen your knees a little bit to let your belly take deep breaths in and out. Good, then come all the way up, sit in a crisscross kind of fashion, and we'll come into a Sufi grind. So Sufi grind is when you're sitting kind of crisscross, you can grab the ankles, you can grab the knees, the spine is straight, and you're making really big circles around the hips. And so once you get the hang of that, just close the eyes and get lost in the movement. Maybe you can imagine that energy that we rustled up doing those piston leg movements. It's kind of starting to circle up through your heart center, through your throat, and through the third eye and all the way up to the crown. Good, let's switch directions. Keep the breath going. Intentional inhales and exhales. Maybe you can think like your body is like a big um, spatula and you're scooping up all that energy, bringing it into yourself so that you can fuel your passions, feel the love that's in your heart. Feel yourself for healing. Whatever it is that brought you here, looking for energy today, imagine as you go around in these big circles that you're just gathering it from the universe and pulling it inside for your highest and best good. I've noticed that I have <laughs> turned around on my mat with all that Sufi grinding. Good, then come to the center, take a breath in. Exhale, just sit and feel. If you like, you can bring your cushion back under your bum. Notice your energy now. We've got two more movements in this practice. Just kind of sealing the energy, bringing it up bringing it in. Good. 
Very good. Let's blink the eyes open. This next practice, it's kind of giving yourself a hug and giving yourself a blessing is how I like to think about it. So it's going to look like this. Your arms are going to come wide. You're going to cross them like you're giving yourself a hug. They'll come wide again. And then you bring them uh, to your shoulder. You bring your hands to your shoulders, kind of like you're giving yourself a blessing. So it's out, wide, out, blessing. Out, wide, out, blessing. Out, wide, out, blessing. Once you get the hang of it, close the eyes. And here, we've got a lot of movement around the heart center. And bringing the energy up into the heart, into the throat, up toward the third eye. So just find this peaceful blessing pose. If you want to add breath to it, it would be inhale, arms out, exhale, cross, inhale out, exhale, bless. <laughs> so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If you mess it up, just laugh with yourself. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not going to mess up your energy if you bless instead of cross one time. Just always be kind, and gentle with yourself. All right, inhale, the arms come down. Exhale, blink the eyes open. All right, there's one more pose. It's one of my favorites. Come back into the rock pose if you're able. Otherwise, you can stay in the crisscross pose. And the pose looks like this. Your hands are interlaced. And we're inhaling, the arms come up. Exhaling, they go down. Inhale up, exhale down. So I like to think about pulling energy all the way up. And then exhaling it down. Pulling it up and exhaling it down. So you can do it that slowly, or you can do inhale and exhale faster. So you pick. One important thing to note, keep going. One important thing to note is that we're not flexing the spine with this. So this is not what we're doing. It looks like this. So as you can see, the spine stays straight and all the movement comes from the shoulder blades. And this one again, especially if you're going quickly, you're inhaling up, exhaling down, but it's a stronger exhale than the inhale. Pull that energy up all the way to the crown of the head. Eyes can be closed. Keep going. Again, if this is too fast, you can do it more slowly, especially if you got any shoulder issues. And if this is even too much, if you've got shoulder pain or maybe some trauma to the shoulder, you can even close your eyes and just imagine those arms going up and down. Same benefit. Just imagine it energetically happening in your body. This is our last pose of the practice. So really imagine pulling energy up from the earth, letting it come all the way up through those clear and clean energy centers that are vibrating with all the movement we've done through all of class.
Almost there. About 10 more seconds. Now inhale it up. Stretch. Little sip of air and more. And exhale, calm down. <sighs> All right. Let's sit for a moment. And just feel. Notice your energy in and around your body right now. Notice if it feels any different than at the beginning of class. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Just notice. It's part of what Kundalini is designed for, is helping us bring the unconscious conscious. So an important part of the practice is just to notice whatever it is that's happening in the body, in the mind, with the energy, in your spirit. Good, let's bring the hands together. We'll close out our practice today together with a long sat and a short nam. You're ringing out the message to the universe, I am. I am my most authentic self. So we'll inhale, exhale, then we'll inhale the chant. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, Satnam. Sat Nam. May your body and your spirit be filled with energy to heal yourself, to spread love, to live into your passions, and to do whatever it is that you came here for. Satnam, my friends. So great to have you practice with me today. Please feel free to leave some comments, ask questions, and I look forward to responding and having a dialogue with you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Mwah.